Hi, my name is Kathy from Cat Fit Stitch. Um, I just wanted to show you how fantastic the Elna Supermatic is. It is a vintage sewing machine made in um, in the 40s, 50s, um, and it still works really well today. All you have to do is maintain it, oil it, keep it good, uh, keep it running smoothly, uh, and I just want to show you how well it sews through anything. This is a piece of black felt and felt is kind of thick. Um, with my other machines that I've used, which are modern day sewing machines, they sometimes struggle with this. Um, but the Elna, it's a dream. I'll just show you here. Um, this is just a straight stitch. It's like, it's amazing. It's amazing. And uh, it has a little cutter here right on the uh, back. Uh, and look at, look at this. It's just like, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the stitches are just even, smooth, no skipping, nothing. No skipping or anything. And so that's one layer. Let's see how it does with two layers of felt. Oop, gotta put the presser foot down. <laughs> two layers, guys, that's two layers. Look at the perfect stitching. Look at the perfect stitching. Two layers. off that's front and back perfect layers or perfect stitching look at that now let's see if we can go through three layers with this beautiful beautiful machine not so much aesthetically because you know the ugly Teton green we it reminds us of the 50s and 60s and we think ew but it's beautiful it's just it sews like a dream Put the presser foot down, and this is let's see one, one, two, three layers. Three layers. Here we go. No laboring, yes, super good. Even stitches right off the edge, no problem. Three layers, no problem. Let's see how it does with four layers. I've never really gone past six layers, so we'll see what, what, uh, how it does. Okay. So four layers of felt. That's not just any, you know, lightweight material. This is felt. Okay. See how it does. No laboring, no problems whatsoever. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. No problems. Just right off the edge. No laboring, no puckering, no no skipping stitches, nothing. Now let's see. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five layers. Let's see how it does. a bit to get it underneath. Okay, let's see what it does. Oh my goodness. Look guys, I'm not even touching it. I'm not even touching it. There it goes. Just like a trooper. This is a powerhouse machine. And this is a domestic machine. It's not even an industrial sewing machine. This was the world's first automatic sewing machine. These, these are just <laughs> amazing. Okay, should we try six? Okay, let's try six. I don't even know if it'll fit underneath the presser foot though, guys. Here we go. Let's give it a little head start by turning the hand wheel and the needle into it. Okay, let's see. 
see what it does. <gasps> I want to keep this machine. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm getting it ready for a new owner, and I hope she will love it like I do. Look at that. Like, what modern day sewing machine, computerized sewing machine, does that? Like, just a domestic sewing machine. What? What? This is just crazy. Okay, I'm gonna try seven. I've never tried seven. But I will try seven. And that'll be it, because I don't want to wreck it. Don't want to wreck it. Okay, here we go. And this is without even changing the needle. You know how they always say, oh, you gotta change for this type of fabric. Change needle for that type of fabric. This is the same needle. This is the same needle that I've been working with doing maintenance on this machine. It's just durable. There we go. Oh my goodness. This is seven layers of felt, guys. Seven layers of felt, not not laboring. The only real problem is just getting this bulk underneath the, the presser foot. There it is. Perfecto. Perfect. Beautiful Elna. Oh my goodness. Beautiful stitches. No skipping. No laboring. No balling up underneath the bobbin or anything. Like what the heck? This is the most amazing machine I've ever actually used. And I've used many machines. I've worked in sewing factories. I've worked with uh, machines, 10 threader sewing machines, all different brands. And this, Elna Supermatic, a, a big ugly vintage machine, is still working after some 60 years. And beautifully if you guys ever come across these pick them up buy them get them serviced and use them use them because just having it sit as a as a vintage you know machine just on the shelf it, it doesn't do it justice it needs to be used it is beautiful guys go out find an Elna Supermatic Anyway, thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, if you want to read more about uh, my article on sewing with vintage um, sewing machines, uh, please go to my website, catfitstitch.com, and uh, read all about it. Thanks, guys. Have a great and awesome day. Bye-bye.